this the, the work surface where it all happens? Well, this is, this is one of two. You know, this is where you pretty much you lay everything out, mark everything, you know, cut everything, you know, get all, get all your stuff in, you know, the correct piles, and you take it over to the sewing machine and, and zip it all together. Zip it, you make it sound easy. No, it's not so hard once you get used to it. So, what's the grid for? Uh, well, this is like a, uh, a 9 by 13 size quilt in, you know, 9 rows by 13 rows of 6 inch squares. So when you lay it out, you know, you lay all your, uh, your squared material and you, you get your pattern right. And then you, you, you stack each square on top of each other to, so you only have nine stacks. Mm -hmm. And then you know, you, you, you sew them together into rows. You'll make nine rows and then you'll sew each one of those rows together across and then it'll come out your whole quilt or the whole front. So you lay it out here to make sure everything measures up right get your pattern down. Right, it's, it's more, more the pattern, because the, uh, the squares, you know, are all cut, you know, beforehand, and then they have, like, you know, mass amounts of squares, so then you go through them, you sort, and you, you pick out which ones you want. But that's only for, you know, like a, uh, you know, an original, you know, six inch square quilt. You know, a lot of the stuff that I've done has been, you know, stars and stuff. Right. And that one, you take, uh, you take templates, like these, these are four inch, and then you got like single four inch, and six inch, and then uh, this is a six inch, and then we have more in the back that are like uh, two inch wide, and that's like, because the stars are, are a bunch of two inch long strips. So you pretty much, you, you just take these, you set them out on the material, you know, and, and you mark it, and, you, and then you cut them out. And uh, for all the different patterns, there's, uh, there's all different kinds of different uh, templates. Like for some, like uh, the uh, surf crazies and stuff that I've made, like there's, there's a box in the back with a bunch of uh, different templates for uh, each style of quilt. Right. So they all, you know, vary. So when you're doing the star, and then you say they're two inch strips, but do you, do, and do you overlap them to make the star, or how do you get the points? Well, the star, it'll be, Well, you, 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 sew, you sew a panel together of two inch strips and your panel, you know, comes out looking like a uh, trapezoid. Mm -hmm. And then you take another, you know, then, then, then you take a two inch template on that and then you mark, you know, rows on that. So when you cut them out, you'll have, you know, a row like this big, but it'll be six different materials sewed together mm -hmm. and they'll look like little diamonds. Right. And then each, uh, each panel that you make is going to be of a different order. Okay. So as you as you start sewing these strips together, it happens to come out to look you know staggered, but in in line. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really it's just a long and tedious process, yeah. and you have to be really careful because there are so many seams in it that if you get off you know an eighth of an inch on one seam thirty times, you end up with a deficit you know of inches. Right. So yeah, you have, to, you have to be careful and always measure five or six times. Measure twice and cut once, they say. Yeah, but yeah, I think it's probably best to measure like... 50 times. Yeah, and, you know, and they always measure throughout it too, just to make sure. Right. So what you got over here are your bins? Yeah, there's uh, bins for all different types of stuff. And uh, let's see. Well, see, they, they have a, they have to move them around every once in a while, so you have to kind of search it out. Here's this is. So everyone, you know, kind of shares a tote, and then you just kind of like keep your name in a bag. Although this bag's kind of big, so I didn't put my name in it. But quilting, I'm uh. We're gonna now is called a uh, carpenter, and really you have to. Uh, this is my unique uh, organization job right here. Your, you just your bundling strategy. Yeah, you just take the scraps. You know, you got to be uh, eco-friendly. Don't waste nothing. <laughs> but for this carpenter, you need it's. You need uh, 192 squares four times, which comes out what? to. Uh, like 760 something 
four inch squares. So what you end up doing is you spend hours upon hours upon hours taking material. And then, and then when they, they got their first sewing machine, it was one of them, uh, them pedal sewing machines. Oh, yeah. Like mom used Yeah. If the apocalypse ever comes, it's going to be good to have. Pedal sewing machine? Absolutely. Quilting after the apocalypse. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's not gonna, you're not going to be able to go to Walmart and, and buy your clothes. There'll be, uh, there'll be completely new na name brands after the apocalypse. So that, how many, um, how many do you have done in those stacks right there? You know, I don't know. Kind of nope, sure, surely not. And this, this is the first time that I've done this one, so I don't even know, you know, what, how to estimate by the height of the stack. Sure, but you know, next time I come, you're like, oh, I haven't counted yet, but I'm pretty sure it's about 611 right there. Yeah, probably so. You know, this is this is all the material that he gave me, so I figured uh, as soon as this was all all marked and cut, it was probably going to be around you know the correct uh, the correct amount. Sure. So where do you go for fabric? Like when it's time to select fabrics? Not uh, well. Mitch, the guy who's out here earlier, the longer hair, yeah. he has all that up front or most of it, like all the all the big pieces that come in, and then uh, when you want to do a special project or something. You'll uh, you'll say, hey, you know, this is what I want to do. This is the style I want to do. You know, could you uh, could you see if you got anything up there that's like that? And uh, so then he goes through his stuff, his stockpiles, and he uh, you know he get you know gets something, and then he uh, he brings it back for you. But like for people that are in the house, just making uh, like regular quilts, that, you know, that they give away to uh, you know like homeless people, you know, on, on the streets of Indy and stuff. They have like uh, bins, like down here to be cut, like to be marked. So uh, normal people, you know, they would come over here throughout the day. And, uh, and really this right here, this is, there's nothing specific. Like there's some people in here that all they do is just they, they mark fabric. There's some people that's all they do is they cut fabric. So if someone would come, you know, say uh, project time, you know, starts, they would come, grab some material, sit down at the table with some templates Usually six inch squares, because a lot of the uh, a lot of the quilts they send out, you know, all six it's inch basically. squares. Yeah. So then people just sit down and mark, and then once that's marked, then they throw it in the in the to be cut, and then all this stuff in here, you know, this is already you know lined. Mm -hmm. So then you know a Brand guy, new. right, a guy who you know likes cutting, you know, over, you know putting lines on, uh, on fabric would come and, and just start cutting. And then once that's done, then the, uh, the cut material goes into a, uh, another bin. And then when the guys, you know, when they uh, start sewing, then they just lay them out in here. Yeah. And some of them, I mean, you get, you get some, some good designs. You know, they, they try to uh, stay in the range of colors sometimes. You know, they don't, they don't get completely crazy like, like this. That's pretty wacky. Yeah. But you know, I mean, for you know, a homeless guy, homeless you know, he's gonna be happy. Yeah. I mean, summertime's coming, so he, you know, he can't be too happy anymore. But the man might fall. right, absolutely. The politics. What, what are the politics? Ugh, oh, power tripping. Like, these are, this, that's my pair of scissors, and, and this is my machine, and that was my fabric, and, and what are you sewing, and yada, yada, yada. And be like, hey, check it, dude, I paid for this. And they be like, oh, and you just take all power from them. Like, this is paid for, buddy. Why don't you just, just back on off me? Yeah, because then they they have no control over it, you know.
Like yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, some people, you know, they got their own, uh, their own agendas and their own, you know, projects, and uh, and they try just to recruit as many people, you know, to do something for them, you know, as they can. And although, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a good endeavor, you know, because I mean, the stuff's, you know, it's going out to needy people, you know, when, uh, you know, when making my own stuff, and then you know, college gets in the way. You know, you really don't have uh, have much time for anything else. You know, I mean, so do my college work and and read, write letters. You know. I wonder how many college students in the United States who just say, you know, my studies are going well, but my quilting just gets in the way of my studies, and my studies in the way of my quilting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how many people are going to be able to say, you know, I put myself through college, through quilting. Yeah. I quilted my way on through. In fact, when you get your diploma, I'm going to have it printed up. Quilt, both of you. Ah. Big diploma quilt. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be funny. Any word from the peanut gallery? Just said that they're wrapping up right now. Okay. Up. So they'll come over and we'll stash our gear and such? I guess, because I think they said they're... We'll they're, probably beat them. Okay. Because they're not going to be coming by here to go there, so I'm, I'm sure we're just going to beat at that location. Where we're locking the gear up? That's up by the visitation or something? You were saying? Okay, cool. So how long till we should leave? Five minutes? Are they like packing up? Now? I'd say five to ten. Yeah. Okay, so they're packing up to move. All right, show me, uh, can you show me the sewing machine room real quick? Yeah, well, I don't know if that back room's unlocked, but I mean, there's just sewing machines right there. Uh, like, they, like there, there's another room back there that just has, you know, a couple more sewing machines at a. Uh, that's all right, I'll hit that another time if it's not unlocked and such. This was great. Oh, they're gonna love it. Yeah, especially because uh, I mean, you, you know, what Su Suzanne's gonna, you know? The, the she's, article should be out soon. It still hasn't come out. So yeah. She said she's usually several months ahead of me. No. Well, seems like a talented she's woman. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll get you packing this in, and I've got it packing in. Supervisor. Yes, so the quality control. It's just That's right. So what you got there? Oh, uh, just requests that I needed. Some stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Four inch templates and marking these four inch squares. So you have to do that, you know, 700 and some times till you get enough squares. And then once you do that, you know, you cut everything out and then you get these nice piles. 700 times now, just scissors cutting them perfectly straight? Yeah, yeah. But see, there, there, there's a, like, you, you don't make this single square. There's a, there's a method to the madness, and it's like, uh, so you got a four inch here, four inch, and a four inch. So what you would do is you would get a straight edge, say the edge of the table, you know, mark it, mark it once, once you mark that one, you know, you can set that up against it, do it again, do it again. And you just, and then you got like a razor blade or something, or what do you, how do you cut it? Scissors. Scissors. Yeah, and you want to get a pair of scissors and start cutting something? If you want to. All right, let me get some. Can I get a pair of scissors, please? I know I'm needy. How was supper? How was dinner? How was dinner? Pinto beans and noodles. Thank you. Oh, 
OC, they have a line for vegan. Yeah, specifically. And uh, they have a regular line, a vegan line, and a uh, lacto ovo line. Get out of here. Yeah. So you guys go with the vegan line? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. So instead of getting crappy meatloaf for something like that, you get. Yeah, well, you're only supposed to go, you know, if you're vegan, you're only supposed to go to the vegan line. But, you know, you take a look at the menu and you're like. So then you, you scoop off, and you know the you know, police. You know they look at so many faces a day that they never know the difference. Right. So you kind of you, you know getting on you know a diet. You know you have more uh, preference. Sure. I mean, eventually you're gonna get caught, but all they do is they take your vegan card away for 90 days. So I mean it's just it's an it's an acceptable consequence for the uh, for the you know rewards at hand. You get stuck on the prison chicken for 90 days for. Uh, chicken? No, uh, they don't. Well. Yeah, chicken. That's a. Uh, What's processed chicken? Every like all the meat they give us. What the yeah like like all the meat is uh, processed chicken byproduct or some bull stuff. And it's the worst chicken quarter that you've ever had. What's that? It's the worst one you've ever had. It's horrible. Like it's worse than. Uh, that's cool though. They got a vegan line. No kosher line? You know no, I mean? yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh, do you yeah. have some Jews in here? Yeah, well, you know, they, they uh, you know, pretend to be Jews, I guess. <laughs> Good. They like your food in the kosher line. All yeah. Right, show me your cutting business here. All right, this is my cutting job. Cutting 101 with Miles. Yeah, well, I think five minutes. So five minutes. Yeah. Like something I've seen on PBS right here. Yeah, so, know, some meaningless, tedious statement. <laughs> this reminds me of the time when I was quilting with my Aunt Millie. <laughs> Damn, it's really the slope. Yeah, cut right through the tablecloth. Yeah. Why we were cutting on tablecloth, I'm not sure. Oh boy, did we have a laugh, though. Yeah. <laughs> sure, now you got your 